A long time ago, I did a review of Earthworm Jim, so I figured it was time to review one of the sequels, and that is Earthworm Jim 2, which was developed by Shiny Entertainment and published by Playmates Interactive Entertainment. It was released in 1995 and was released on many consoles and even PC. You can find it on the Super Nintendo, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and Game Boy Advance. Like the first game, Earthworm Jim 2 is a side-scrolling 2D run-and-gun platformer starring everyone's favorite earthworm named Jim. Now, Jim is in a robotic suit and battles evil bastards. Like the first game, you must save Princess What's-Her-Name from Psycho. Why does Psycho want the princess this time? To force marriage on her. So Jim and his sidekick Snot are out to rescue her and take Psycho down. Along the way, you will go after a variety of enemies such as Major Mucus, Evil the Cat, and Bob the Killer Goldfish. There are 11 levels you will go through with interesting and quite hilarious settings to each. Obviously, the first Earthworm Jim had the same type of style to it. Now, the majority of the levels are platformers, but there are levels that have other gameplay elements to them. Some are a bit open, where you have to guide yourself around intestinal passages as a blind cave salamander, and then jump right into a game trivia show, which is fucking ridiculous, but in a good way. Then there is one where your head becomes inflated and you must float upwards while avoiding sharp objects. Then there's the isometric shooter element, where you write on your pocket rocket, and you must direct a bomb towards major mucus, and of course avoid enemies. Then there are parts where you must bounce puppies on a marshmallow and not drop them and get them over to Peter Puppy. Bombs will be thrown by Psycho, and this is where you must get them to Peter Puppy so he can throw the bombs back at Psycho. This is what I really like about Earthworm Jim 2. There is a variety of different gameplay all packed into one game. When it comes to weapons, there's a nice variety of them. Obviously, you can use your head to whip enemies and so on. Then there is your typical gun, and then there's homing missiles, barn blaster, bubble gun, electro gun, and more. Of course, I did mention Snot. You can use him to glide through the air and even use him to attach to Snot that you see in certain areas, which will allow you to get up to certain areas on platforms and so on. And I think that's pretty Pretty damn cool. Groovy. The graphics for Earthworm Jim 2 are fucking awesome. Each level is designed very well and there's a lot of detail to them, ranging from the levels itself, the backgrounds, and so on. The characters, enemies, and boss sprites are fucking awesome too, and well detailed. Earthworm Jim 2 doesn't glitch, flicker, and all of that. A lot can happen on screen and there's no slowdowns. The game is extremely colorful, and of course, the game is ridiculously goofy as well with the animations. And I love that a lot. The music and sound effects are very well done. Like in the first game, Tommy Tallarico is back and kicking ass once again. When it comes to the soundtrack, some of it sounds a bit goofy, which fits the game perfectly. And then there's some of it that is rather soothing, too. I know that sounds odd, but listen to the music during the Blind Cave Salamander level. It's so damn great, and like I said, it's soothing. The sound effects are great from the enemies, the shooting of the weapons, and so on. Even the little bit of voiceover work is badass as well. No complaints at all. The controls for Earthworm Jim 2 are great. Moving around is easy, jumping, attacking, shooting, and so on is very easy and respond quite well. Really not much I can complain about here. I don't find it a chore to play this game, which is always nice. Earthworm 2 on the Sega Genesis is fucking awesome. I love this game. Now, granted, I love the first game, but I think the sequel is slightly better in some aspects. Obviously, I love the idea of changing the gameplay style up a bit. The graphics are fucking great, so is the music and sound effects. The difficulty is nice, and the controls are good. Some of the levels are a bit short, so that could be a small flaw, but for the most part, there's really not many flaws in this game, and I really enjoy this sequel a lot. I think a lot of time and effort went into this game, and that fucking rules. Now, rarityguide.com has Earthworm Jim 2 at 56% rare. The prices on eBay range from $750, $24, $18, $61 for a complete in box, $275 for a factory sealed, $26, and prices in between. Not bad on the prices. I think the cheaper is obviously the ones that you might want to pick up. The rest are pretty fucking ridiculous, especially $275 for a factory sealed copy, if it's even a legit factory sealed game. 
Now, many years after the original release, there was a Game Boy Advance version in 2002. The Sega Genesis version was released on the Wii Virtual Console in 2009, and then the MS-DOS version was re-released on Steam and GOG using the DOS box emulation. So there are ways you can pick this game up, either by in physical or digital. Now, I would love to see this game get remastered, similar to what happened to the first Earthworm Jim game. I think that would be really badass. Of course, I would love to see Earthworm Jim make a comeback. But I doubt that will happen at this point. There was an announcement for Earthworm Jim 4 back in 2008, but it was said that the IP owners couldn't get shit worked out. Now, speaking of sequels, there's actually a few more games in the Earthworm Jim series. There's Earthworm Jim 3D on the Nintendo 64 PC, and of course, Earthworm Jim Menace to the Galaxy on the Game Boy Color. I hope you enjoyed this review of Earthworm Jim 2. Thanks for watching.